Okay, the project of the evening is perhaps somewhat review for some of you. Um, I think I read a long time ago on Splashdot or something that you could take these optical mice apart and use the sensors in them as cameras. Uh, it turns out that every optical mouse works by uh, using this, basically it's a small camera um, inside the mouse to detect the movement. Um, and as it turns out, the, <laughs> the sensor is really easy to read from. In fact, with just like a couple wires and a really basic uh, Arduino program, you can actually dump the data that the sensor is picking up. Um, so in other words, you can use this as a, as a slow, like, you know, 10 frames per second maximum camera. So anyway, this is just a cheap uh, PS2 Logitech mouse. And the board is so simple that this one doesn't even have any surface mount components, well, except on the back. Um, here, let me get a little bit closer so that you can actually see the chip. Okay, so the chip that lies at the guts of this optical mouse is the Avago Technologies ADNS2610, as you can see in the top right hand corner. Um, not all mice have Avago chips, but many of them do. Um, I've I've seen a couple that are uh, different model numbers and they're different sizes and for the most part they're functionally similar. Um, it turns out that that chip handles almost all of the functionality of the optical mouse all on its own. Um, all it really does is tell the microprocessor here I moved a little bit to the left, I moved a little bit to the right. Um, but the magic is that for diagnostic purposes or whatever else it has a very primitive serial port um, that we can use to get some data off of that chip. Like, how confident is the little optical sensor that it's tracking the mouse pad correctly? Or, um, what exactly is the last frame that it just took? Which is what we are going to be using tonight. Um, so the pins in the bottom left hand corner, those two, those are the serial port pins. One of them is clock, one of them is data. And that's what we're going to use to communicate with an Arduino. And then all we have to do aside from that is supply it with power, which is, I think it's these two pins, I'll have to consult the data sheet, um, in the middle here on the right hand side. So let's get soldering! <laughs> Here is our finished product, uh, more or less. The board is obviously powered on, it's really uh, bright, and installed back in the mouse chassis. Uh, and then the next step was writing an Arduino driver, which I will, uh, I don't know if I can really describe it, but it turns out it's not that hard. Um, that communicates via the sensor over that serial port that we mentioned, and this is the serial port. <clears throat> and then you can see that it's also communicating some data back via the USB port. What is it showing us? Well, it's showing us, this is just a quick uh, processing app that I wrote that uh, just watches the serial port for the pixel data as it's being sent. What we're seeing is that uh, it gets a pretty good live view of what the mouse is over. So if we move the mouse, you can see that, lo and behold, yes, it does change on the screen. Um, so in terms of being able to actually use this little hack for something useful, God only knows. Um, it does seem to have fairly uh, close resolution of the surface that it's tracking on, but um, unfortunately you're basically stuck using this tiny lens, um, which can only focus, of course, like mere millimeters off of your surface. So in terms of being able to use this as a general imaging device, um, it might not be such a useful little toy after all.
okay, I realized that was a total cop-out. Um, it's like, <laughs> solder these wires, write the driver, and it works. Uh, but it's difficult to describe how a, a driver for a, a sensor like that optical camera works um, over video. So instead uh, of me trying to explain uh, clocks and, and, and serial data lines, uh, I'm just going to post the code to my website, um, or I'm, which is connorpeterson.wordpress.com. C-O-N-O-R. Uh, okay, that is, that's it for real. Um, I'm done with this.